Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to connect a router to your Virgin Hub 3. I'm going to do it in three easy steps. So in step one we're going to open up a web browser. We're going to type in 192.168.0.1 and that will bring up the administration page of your Hub 3. You're going to type in your password which can be found on the bottom of the Hub. It's advisable to change. Press next to log in. We're going to select modem mode right there. Easy enough. And we're going to press enable modem mode. And all we have to do is apply those changes like that. Let it do its thing. It will take about five minutes and we'll move on to step two. So into step two, we're looking at the back of the Virgin Hub 3. We've got our power cable plugged in. We should have our coax cable plugged in here, but I don't have one in this room, so please just humour me. Make sure you've got your coax cable still plugged in, um, where your provider has installed it in your house. And what we're going to need to do is plug an Ethernet cable into port 1. You get an Ethernet cable in your Virgin Hubs box, so that's just going to go in there like that. Now the only difference is your Hub 3 normally has a white LED. When it's in modem mode, this LED will glow purple. The reason it's flashing green is because it hasn't synced and we don't have our coax cable plugged in. But you'll know it's ready because it will change to purple when the coax is plugged in. So let's just move this one aside. Now we're going to get your router, which you've just purchased. This is from 2012, so it's not new at all. Make sure your power cable is plugged in and switched on. Get the other end of the Ethernet cable that you've just plugged into your Virgin Media Hub 3. Now plug it into your internet port here. Your router might say WAN. Mine says internet, so we're going to plug it into the internet port like that. Little light comes on to say it's connected. And the last thing that we need to do is we need devices to be plugged into this router from now on. So we've got another Ethernet cable here. On the other end is my PC. So we're just going to plug that into LAN port 1. Make sure it clicks and the little LED comes on to show network activity. And all we need to do now is go straight to step 3 to configure this. So here we are on the final step, step 3. Back in front of the PC, go to your web browser and type in the IP address of your router. Now it's probably written on the box, on the bottom somewhere, or in the instruction manual, or on the internet, you will be able to find the IP address. In my case, it is that. You're then going to log into your router, probably with the default username and password, change it. Now, as you can see under network, we've got nothing going on here. So what we need to do is we need to find our WAN interface. So in mine, it's in network interfaces. It'll be somewhere in your administration page. You'll be able to find it somewhere. So we're looking at the WAN interface. We're going to edit that. It's currently set to PPPoE. Now for Virgin Media, all you need to do is make sure it's set as a DHCP or DHCP client. We'll switch the protocol. We'll save and apply those settings. And the Hub3 will now pass the public IP address straight over to the WAN interface of our router, in theory. And Let's just go to our status and overview page. And I can see we've got an IPv version 4 address. So all we need to do now is go to the internet and go to google.co.uk and browse to your heart's content. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.